Hello, this is James Bear. I want to show you a quick demo of WebSocket D. Used to cloud, uh, debug your Cloud Foundry applications and send some interactive shell commands over a web browser. See how that works. So I've got a standard Rails application. Just I created it a few moments ago using Rails New. And you'll notice I have a WebSocket D Cloud Foundry directory. So this is basically just, if we take a look at the contents of that, I have my WebSocket D binary process is the very small Go. Uh, process. Uh, um, this happens to be a Linux 64-bit one that I'm going to upload that because I want that to run in Cloud Foundry and a couple of sample shell scripts that we can run when uh, we're running WebSocket D in Dev Console mode. So let's go ahead and push the application. Um, I'm going to push it. I'm going to call the app WebSocket D. I'm going to specify instead of, I'm going to do a command override, so instead of using the command that the build pack would normally use, which would start up Rails, I want to start up this WebSocket D process, listen to it on the port that's assigned by Cloud Foundry. I'm going to start it up in Dev Console mode, uh, which allows us to, to run arbitrary scripts. And the directory I want it to look in is the inside of my app, inside the WebSocket D Cloud Foundry directory, so we can find all these bash scripts. So with that, let's start running the command. I have to answer a few questions here about. We'll pretty much just take all the defaults. And so this is going to go through the standard uh, Rails build pack process as normal. It should download any gems I need to to run a Rails app and everything like that. But at the end, it's going to start up my WebSocket D process instead. And then, as you'll see in the browser, I'll be able to send it arbitrary commands. So in the past, it's been kind of difficult to, to run things like rake db migrate or other kinds of uh, database migration scripts or other things about you might want to do to explore your application container as it's running on Cloud Foundry. So using this WebSocket D, it's a an approach that you could use to send uh, interactive commands to the container your application uh, would normally be running, but instead we're running this WebSocket D process. So what's going on here is we're doing all the standard Rails stuff that, that normally happens. And we're about finished up here. Got all the gems downloaded. Going through the uh, Rails asset pipeline. Great. Okay, so now we're running here. Let's go ahead and open this in a browser. And you'll notice that right now it's at looking, uh, it uses the same address that we had applied and assumes that that's what the WebSocket address is going to be. Well, on RunPivotal.io where we're running this right now, we need to use secure WebSockets and port 4443. And I just happen to know that it's also the bash.sh script that I want to run. So if I do that now, I'm ready to send interactive commands to my application. I can ask what directory I'm in, and I'm in home var vcap. I can see what version of Ruby is running there. I can list the contents of my directory. It looks like just like the one that was on my local directory. I can even see what you know, processes are running in my container. So here's that arbitrary command I had specified earlier as an override so we don't run Rails S. So here is if I would have had some interesting rake db migrate scripts I could run that and, and get the results. In this case there's no output uh, because my uh, rake commands aren't set up but I hope this gives you a good example of, of how you can use this uh, to debug your applications in Cloud Foundry.